time now for everybody's favorite guessing game, What's My Line? Throughout the world, only one company produces all types of business machines and systems, Remington Rand, who now invites you to play What's My Line? Now let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the popular star of television and the theater, Miss Arlene Francis. next gentleman you're about to meet has the distinction of having published probably the most fascinating novel of the year, 10 Frederick Street by John O'Hara, Mr. Bennett Cerf. This is an evening I've waited for a long time because I now have the privilege of the first time of introducing one of the smartest and nicest girls in journalism and television, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Management at great expense has secured a special panelist for us tonight, the unique, the extraordinary, the bizarre Fred Allen. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, statistics prove that the average male baby only requires one babysitter to keep him company. But when that baby grows up and becomes John Daly, he requires four sitters. <laughs> and now that the four sitters are here, may I present the, the, the former baby who has grown up to become our moderator, Mr. John Daly. Well, <clears throat> good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to What's My Line. I think you're all familiar with what we're about to do. We've got some interesting occupations which we think will puzzle our panel and some nice people who brought the occupations. We'll have a famous guest challenger a bit later on, but right now I think we ought to get things rolling. It's time for the experts to meet the first challenger whose line has to be spotted. So would you come out and sign in, please? Edmund... Edmund Bauman, is that right? Uh, <laughs> and where are you from, sir? Well, I've uh, lived a long time in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Well, it's a lovely town. It's nice to have people who are that close on as neighbors come up here and give our panel, panel a rough time. Uh, we like to give them a little bit of a running start. Would you take mm -hmm. a small running start and let them get a closer look at you, please? Bauman, how are you? All right, sir, right over here and sit down next to me, if you will. <coughs> Are you familiar with our scoring system? Yes. Well, if you're familiar with the scoring system, there's nothing left to do but to uh, tell the folks at home, our friends here, exactly what your line is. Set then, our guest is uh, salaried, and let's begin the general questioning with Arlene Francis. Mr. Bowman, do you work for a profit-making organization? No. That's what I figured. I asked it the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> One down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Gowman, do you, Bowman, do you work for the United States government in any capacity? Yes. Is it uh, anything to do, has it anything to do with the law? Yes. Is it some div special division devoted to preserving the laws of the country? Yes. It isn't the FBI, is it? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you have anything to do with the executive branch of the government? Yes. Do you have anything to do with our president? Yes. Are you a Secret Service man? Yes. Wait a minute. That's, that's a good running start, Miss Darcy. But you mean there's going. more? 
Sure. Well, are you a Secret Service man engaged in protecting the President Gettysburg. at Gettysburg? Or the White House, or wherever at, he may be. At, <laughs> quiet, girl. <laughs> On the golf course. Uh, the question was, are you engaged in... Well, I think, actually, we probably have to throw in the sponge, because when you get down to bedrock, Mr. Bauman is always concerned with protecting the security of the President of the United States, because he is the chief of the United States Secret Service. Oh. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Allen. Do you think that, I want to ask Mr. Bowman, do you think that the president is giving the country another Gettysburg address? <laughs> oh, no. Well, I'm sitting in Bennett's place, John. That's the best I can do. Mr. Bowman, could I ask a serious question? I think we'd all like to know just what is the relationship between the Secret Service and the FBI? The Secret Service Division is a unit or agency of the Treasury Department. The FBI is in the Department of Justice. They're two separate agencies. But more or less interlocked, don't they? Do some, somewhat the yes, same we work? cooperate and exchange information, but the Secret Service, we have specific duties like uh, protection of the president, suppression of counterfeiting, and forgery of government checks. And the FBI has certain duties under their jurisdiction, too. Interesting. Yes, Mr. Arthur. You're older than the FBI, aren't you? Yes, we, we were organized in 1865. You, Thank the, you. The Secret Service was organized then. You weren't organized then. Well, Bennett has had more experience with the law, I think, than any of us. That's probably why. <laughs> Bennett just wants to know his rights, Mr. Bowman, so that if he's picked up by one of your men, I must say it's a very fine call. If I can add a small bit, I covered the White House for a good many years, as I think you know, sir, and I don't know a finer body of men than the detail that you have at the White House. Jim Rowley on all the way down. Thank you very much. Now... I must tell, I think the panel will get a kick out of this. Actually, we put great pressure on Mr. Bauman to come on this week, even though I think it was some inconvenience for him, because by next week, his, he and nine other Americans who well deserve it uh, will have their pictures and a story in Look Magazine. We were afraid you'd see it, because he is one of the ten Americans who is going to receive at the first annual, I don't know whether you know about this, do you? Yes, first yes. annual Korea Service Award that is given by the Civil Service um, League in Washington next Saturday night. And they called me and asked me to come down and preside at the dinner. I couldn't do it. But Mr. Bauman, next week would be so hot, but you got him anyway, very quickly. Yes, Sandy. Then the least you can do is flip all the cards. No question about it. We flipped <laughs> all the cards, and thanks very much, much for coming. We stay ahead of the time, and we very nice having so fine a civil servant with us, and uh, compliments to the panel on a very good beginning. Mr. Allen? I thought the Secret Service was what uh, went on in the automat, where you don't see anybody and things are going on. <laughs> <laughs> it was news to me, I must it's say. It's news that, to you, uh, yes, All right. Well, let's see what you can do with another challenger.